What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing for Loot Crates. This is really exciting. I absolutely love Loot Crates. This box here was $30. I think it was part of a sale a couple of months ago. And because I live in Canada and because of the ongoing pandemic, it took about two months for me to receive this box, which is fine. The only thing I have to say is it's a lot smaller than I remember with Loot Crates, but still, most of the themes that was for this month, for I think it was October, are the themes that are of interest to me. So let's open this up and check everything out. So I have it open next to me. I'm just going to randomly grab things out, starting with whatever's on top. So it is a, or what looks to be a bottle opener for the movie, The Crow. It's in the shape of a crow and it actually has a design in it. Now that's actually really cool. It does have some weight to it. Very interesting item. It does look nice. However, I'm not into the crow whatsoever. So this isn't really of, it, of interest to me. Everything else for this month's theme was why I purchased the box. So even though I don't like the crow and I'm not really into it, this is a really nice bottle opener and I could see if anybody was into the crow, they might really like this. It looks like it's very high quality. It has some weight to it. Definitely something that people would use for sure. The next item is this box that says Black Widow and it says that it's a 3D comic standee. So I don't know what exactly this is going to be. I'm assuming it's a figure. So here we go. It is the Black Widow. It looks like a, uh, almost like a bookends. Um, this is very interesting, but it's definitely not a figure I'd expect to get from Loot Crate. Usually it's more high-end stuff. It's extremely light. It is basically, in my opinion, cheap plastic. Um, it's still very cool because it is Black Widow and I collect anything Marvel. So this is definitely going up on one of my shelves. However, it looks like it's very cheap. Not really that great to get in a Loot Crate box. I was expecting something like a Funko or a Q-Fig, which I do collect, and they are nicer. This here just looks very cheap and very last minute of them coming up with an idea for the box. Next would have been a t-shirt, but I think I'm going to save that to do as the last thing so I can try it on and show you guys exactly how it looks and how it fits. But the next item is a little pin and it just looks like a uh, beaver. Loot Crate does do the loot pins, but I'm not sure what it is based off of or what it's from. Um, it looks like a beaver. It could be a groundhog coming out of the hole. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but regardless, their pins are really cool and they are high quality and it does look very cool. I'm just not sure what this is from. The next item is a little beanie, and I'm assuming this is the Fallout item because I haven't gotten anything from Fallout yet. And it looks like it is. It is Adam Katz, has the nice logo there. Now I do have a big head, so I'm assuming this here is not going to fit. But regardless, I'm gonna try it on here. It's extremely tight for me. Like I said, I have a big head, but I mean, the logo does look cool. It is Fallout, it is gaming related, and you guys know I love collecting anything gaming, and I do have a t-shirt and a couple other things for Fallout. However, this is a really tight hat. I might have to try to stretch it out, see if uh, I can get it to where I can wear it comfortably. But right now, I'm gonna say, probably not gonna use it. It is extremely tight does not fit my big head. And the last item is the t-shirt, which it is obviously gonna be Venom if you guys knew what this box was, all of the themes, and here we go. That is the logo. It is really low in the bottom right corner of the t-shirt. Let's try it on and take a closer look. So I figure the best way is to stand for this one just because the prints on the shirt is actually lower than I expected. So this is how it fits. Like most Loot Crate shirts, it is very comfortable. It is a Marvel shirt, so the quality of Loot Crate shirts is amazing. Now, because it is Venom, I understand why it's black, but I really regret that they make the decision to have all of their shirts black. All of them are the same color, typically. 
Now I love getting the ones that are not black, but still I'm gonna look past it because it is a very comfortable shirt. Now I'm gonna move closer here so you guys can see. This is the Venom design. And it does look nice. It has a lot of great detail. It's honestly not too thick of a print. So I don't think washing it, there's going to be any issues whatsoever. However, the one thing I will say is, in my opinion, it's a very bad spot for the logo. It could have been pushed up and put right front and center, right on the chest. I think I personally would have enjoyed it a little bit better. However, it still is a very nice shirt regardless. It's just... I expected something a little bit better, or at least something that I'd be a little bit more comfortable wearing and enjoy wearing. Now, I'm still going to wear this shirt because I still really do like it. It's just, I think it would have honestly came out better if the logo, if Venom was more front and center, or at least just up a little bit. I think that honestly would have looked better instead of the bottom right hand corner for the shirt. So this was October's Loot Crate box. Like I said, it did take a little while for me to get it here in Canada. Now, unfortunately for me, out of all the boxes that I've ever gotten from Loot Crates or Geek Fuel or any subscriptions, this one here, in my opinion, is the weakest one. And it's the one that I don't really like that much. Now, whenever I ordered it, it did have some of the themes that I wanted. It had Fallout, Venom, and Black Widow, which I thought was going to be an amazing box. It just didn't hit the mark for me. The hat doesn't fit, which that's understandable because I do have a big head. If it did fit, I do like the logo, so I'm going to look past that. The Black Widow figure, in my opinion, is extremely cheap, and it doesn't look the greatest. It doesn't even have any detail on her face, but it still is interesting. Now the shirt here, as you guys can tell, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a shirt that has any logo on it. It looks like I'm wearing a plain black shirt because it's only right here that it has Venom. That to me is a miss. I don't enjoy that. I would have rather to be up more so you can see it or at least a full print on the shirt. I think it would have came out a little bit better. Still very interesting. I'm still going to wear it. Just this box here was not the greatest from what I've ordered in the past. Regardless, I think I'm still going to order from Loot Crate in the future. Right now, they do have a new box that came out called Loot Remix, which basically has a bunch of the items in it, I think three to four items, that were from past Loot Crate subscriptions, past months, which I think that's very interesting because the box is only $20. I definitely want to order that because over the years I did miss out on some Loot Crate items. However, some of them might not be of a specific theme that I like, and you do not get to see the themes available. But I'm definitely going to be ordering from Loot Crate in the future, maybe a box, but definitely Loot Remix because it sounds like it's very, very interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.